So I was listening to a talk today by uh, Simon Sinek, who, uh, and he was talking about destination. Simon Sinek is the author of Starting With Why, it's a New York bestseller book. It talks about uh, the understanding that when you're, you're trying to, uh, to communicate a vision or a goal uh, of a company or of an idea of trying to get a movement of people to trying to do something, you have to start with why you're doing it versus uh, what you're doing or how are you going to do it, when you're going to do it. Start with why the purpose uh, is really what helps galvanizing your group, you know, put that sense of unity in them. And I love one of the things he said today when he talked about destination. So he gives this example, let's say you're in a room and you're with a bunch of people within that room and he asks one of them, go to the other side of the room, go to this corner, go to this specific corner of the room and go there in a straight line. As you start making your way to him, unknown to you, he puts a chair right in front of you. And without much thoughts, without much hesitation, what you do is um, you move to the right of the chair and you make your way to continue to go to that corner of the room. What you just did is you avoided whatever the obstacle that was right there in front of you because you knew what the destination was. Let's reset and do the same example when he asks you again, um, Go anywhere in the room and go there in a straight line. And you're like, what do you mean anywhere? He's like, anywhere in the room. You know, you're smart enough. You understand. You don't know what it is. Go anywhere in the room in a straight line. As you're walking, he goes ahead, unknown to you, and puts a chair right in front of you. Most of the time when that happens, what most people end up doing is they stop. They don't know what to do. It's the same example it's, it's the same situation, but in two different response in these two various example. See, in the first example, you end up finding a solution to the obstacle because you have a very clear defined destination. The destination does determines how you overcome that current obstacle. And that's the same thing for a lot of people in life. When we have an idea of really where we're going, whenever some of the challenges are faced in front of us, we're able to overcome them. The challenges are not such a big deal because the destination is bigger than whatever that current obstacle is. See, in that particular example, getting to the corner, the specific corner of the room was more important than whatever the chair that was hindering us to getting to that corner. But whenever you don't know where you're trying to get to, whatever little thing that may happen in front of you then becomes then a bigger issue because it's causing you to to second guess, to think twice about what are some of the possibilities, some of the things you could do. That's becoming a bigger issue. So I think that speaks volume to really some of the things that could happen to us as individuals where if we do not have a clearly defined path towards the destination and the goals that we want, whether it is to our job, our family, our relationships, through our communication with others. If we don't have a clear destination of where we're trying to go, we will end up like these people that don't have a destination where they go when some of the obstacles that will arise, I'm not even going to say might arise, they will arise because thus is life. When those obstacles will arrive, we'll end up feeling almost powerless in front of them. So having a clear defined destination of where you're trying to go is much more important than trying to worry how you're going to get there. Because the destination will drive you towards figuring the how. Very, very, very important. You know, you hear companies all the time that would say, well, you know, last year we made $500 million. That's cool. That's very impressive. But why? $500 million towards what? You know, people don't have somewhat of an ultimate goal of why they're doing something. They're just doing it maybe because they've seen their competitors do it. They've seen other people do it. They don't really have their own uh, true to the heart reason why they're engaging into a certain situation. And I think that's a, a poor way to live life. You know, um, I was really kind of like faced with that myself. Uh, I was speaking to a friend of mine and I was telling them, you know, I want to be a speaker. You know, I want to be in a motivational speaker. This I want to do. And I started thinking to myself, 
well, Salem, why do you want to do this? Like, where's the goal? You know what I mean? Like, am I just doing this because I've seen other people do it and it's single? You know, I didn't have a true to myself desire as to why I wanted to do this. It wasn't, it wasn't strong enough. It wasn't believable enough even to myself. That's how pathetic it was. I just wanted to do it because I thought it was a cool thing to do. Um, but it wasn't something that was true to me. The moment I started speaking to more to college students, I remember the first time I got a chance to go speak to uh, some university students and seeing the impact that my words had on them. That when I started realizing I want to be able to positively impact people, especially young people within my generation. That's why I want to do this. I want to become a world changer. I want to make uh, uh, my little piece of impact in my world. And to me, that changed everything. That became the catalyst between me being an average person and me uh, having a long-term impact through finding my purpose, finding the very reason why I do what I do. In ending, I might even say that, you know, the truth is that success in itself is not a destination. Oh, I'm on the road here. So guys, you will apologize. I, I was really inspired to share this with you. So as I'm driving right now, there's all kind of traffic on the road. Um, as I was saying, success is really not a destination. People always look at success as I've arrived at this place. I'm making, you know, six figures. I'm making seven figures. Um, I'm driving this type of car. I have living in this type of house. Uh, I'm the CEO of this company. Uh, they see that as a place where they arrive. Success to me is the journey, is the process, right? So when I'm talking about this destination, I think there has to be something higher, something much deeper, something that is more intrinsic to ourself versus what we can acquire. Because at the end of the day, when you die, you can't take with you any of these things, right? You can't take the car, <laughs> you can't take uh, the house, uh, you wish you could take the bank account, but you cannot. All that's going to stay. But what's inside is much more important, right? Achieving that higher self, uh, achieving that purpose, the reason why you were created to be on earth. I think that's much more important. The reason why God has deposited a specific gift he has put in you. Being able to say, you know, I've lived fully. I've done everything that I have could. I've left it all on the table. That's that destination that I'm talking about, right? Being able to, to live fully overcoming any obstacle that might be in front of you. Well, that's all for me. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Always remember, you're God's very best. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.